Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at 2001 A Space Odyssey, and this is the Marvel Comics Treasury Edition adaption from 1976. Well, that was a tongue twister. But anyway, so Marvel did these treasury editions in the 70s and uh, DC did them too. And this is fantastic. I don't know how this came into being, but they were doing uh, adaption of movies. And so this is Jack Kirby writing and drawing 2001 A Space Odyssey. And the art instantly is just like gonna blow you away. So it's colored by Marie Severin and Jack Kirby. Marie Severin, a big unsung hero of the Marvel Comics bullpen. She was a, an artist on Hulk, uh, notably, which I think is so cool to for back in the day to have a woman like be an artist on the Hulk. I just, all kinds of awesome right there. Um, lettered by John Costanza. Could you imagine like, uh, you know, having her at a dinner party or something? So what do you do? Oh, I draw the Hulk. Oh, okay. Everyone else is like a soccer mom or something. So I, I don't know how this adaption came out. The movie came out in 1968 and this came out in 76. And I can just, it's so weird with its premise and its visuals and all that. I was reading up on it and it's just, you know, obviously supposed to be a very visual movie and it wasn't well received when it first came out. And then like after three or four times seeing it, you realize the genius of Stanley Kubrick and, um, Jack Kirby using some photocopies in there. Oh, I forgot to mention the anchor's name is, uh, because I couldn't pronounce it, Ink by Frank Giacoa. And I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, and maybe uh, my friend Matt Haas is watching, and maybe he'll tell me how to pronounce that correctly, because uh, he's good for that. Hi, Matt. Anyway, uh, so here he is using some photocopies and... I think that's cool, pretty um, innovative for 1976 when that's pretty much the only thing, technical tool you have at your disposal besides pen and ink and maybe some uh, duo shade or zip -a -tone or something like that. But there's some more of it there. And this is really, I love that the, the treasury edition because it just shows off the art. And I am one of those, and there are many, many, and I'm not proud to be a member of this group of people who used to hate Jack Kirby's art. And then one day his genius just dawned on me. And now it's like, holy crap, especially given the time that he worked in and he's drawing, you know, like four or five pages a day, three, four books a month. I mean, it's just crazy, the output that this man has and the innovation and the just outpour of uh, amazing work. Apparently this is a pretty faithful adaptation. Great splash page there. But um, it's so funny because it's so like screams Kirby. It's weird because it's like, um, you know, doing an adaptation like this. Like, I, I don't know if like an editor today would be like, because this is definitely, you know, like like if Kirk, if Kirby directed the movie because it just has such his look and such his aesthetic and his storytelling and just his power. And this book is so cool and I feel so lucky to have it. I've never uh, owned it before. I don't think I'd have any reason to. I was just a wee wee child. I, I wasn't even born when the movie came out, but... Um, I don't know that I've ever seen the whole thing. I know that's a crime. I love Stanley Kubrick, um, mainly because of The Shining. And another great splash page there. Just, this is like <laughs> the type of book, and I can see why a lot of stoners got into um, Jack Kirby in the 60s, because, I mean, throw on some Led Zeppelin spark a dupe and just like go to town on this art is amazing. <clears throat> it's really cool to see like him draw some. It's funny because, you know, you think of Jack Kirby as like the consummate superhero artist, but that's not really where he started. He had an entire career basically before Fantastic Four drawing whatever, Westerns, romance, uh, 
I don't know if he did a bunch of horror. I'd love to see his horror books. I'm sure he has, he's done everything. But this is just, that's a great shot there. I love this page with the sort of black and white look to it. Kirby is just, they don't call him Jack King Kirby for nothing, right kids? Look at this, I mean, how fun is that? Just for like a 19, random 1976 comic book adaptation of, you know, 2001 Space Odyssey, and then there's a, an afterword. And um, I guess it says that after this, Marvel was gonna publish a, a regular series or a mini series or something like that. But isn't that fantastic? Like if you guys have not seen this or the movie, I recommend both. Get out there and check it out. Um, anyway, subscribe to my channel, hit like please. I really appreciate the support and I'll bring you some more content later. All right, take it easy guys, bye.